your production Welcome back to the channel. So, I've received some comments saying do a video on how to spray paint wheels. Now, clearly, mine are good metal grey, so I'm not going to spray these ones, but I have my old E90 drift wheels. So, I think I will be spraying this. What do you think you're spraying this one? Yeah. Do you think there's spiders in there all now? <laughs> Really no See, this one's already sprayed, but I never recorded it. I think that will do. What do you think, so, uh, Brian? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll go in the back garden, we'll give this a clean, and then we shall be spray painting this. So, what I'm gonna do is just wet them, wet the wheels, and then this is just some auto wheel fallout remover. So I'm going to spray it with fallout remover which will do most of the work for me Spray that all in there And then just let that work its magic So after you leave it for a bit, it will start turning pale That's when you start messing it up with it You get in there, get in there you know, we're going. Beautiful. What do you think Abraham? Is it going to be all clean? Mm -hmm. oh, I think so. Right, so that will do for that and then what you want to do is just wait till it's dry and then see over here, see all that gunk here that won't come out with cleaning so I'll just have to sand that away stuff like that, don't worry about it, all that shit in there we'll just sand it all away, that'll be alright so wait till it's dry and then we'll get back to you people so once it's all dry then what you want to do is sand it down don't mask it off just yet because I've seen videos where they mask it off and then they sand it but don't do that because if you sand in the edges you might just rub some of the masking tape off so it's better to sand it now this here is 80 grit this is some 80 grit sandpaper so this is very harsh but it's very easy but I'll show you what I mean let's see how easy it is to take it off but it also leaves these lines so if you're going to use like an 80 grit or a 100 grit, you'll need something like 500 or 320 just to go over it again. Otherwise, it's just going to leave marks like that. Something like this, this is 1000 grit, okay? You don't want to be using something like this because you'll be here for ages, right? So, get your sandpaper, whatever one. I'm using 80 grit, but if you are going to use 80 grit, I'll show you later on when I've sanded most of it down, some parts will be scratched like see something like this if you try and spray over that I'll, I'll, I'll show you anyway you'll know what I mean but you just want to sand it all down and all the paint down so it's all been sanded with the 80 grip sandpaper now come here bring it here see this here see how it's all like Oh, can you see the lines? Do they come up? 
So now this is some 240 sandpaper. I just want to get rid of all the lines and make it smooth like that. See that? Just like this. Just so it's all smooth and not like this. Can you see the lines? Can you see the difference in all the scratches in the and then how all this is all smooth? Does it come up in brain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just sand it all down. Go over it. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Watch it, watch it. Watch it, Abraham. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at the transformation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Now see here, look at this area. Look at it. Because it, all of it is pretty much gone, the paint is gone. It's just now removing all the scratches with finer sandpaper to make it smoother. So once that's done, we'll get back to you. And now, <laughs> keep it rolling. So now it's time for the prime. Look at it, show them. We've changed location because we weren't getting any sunlight down there. But this is how it is. We've got some masking tape there, masked all around here and newspaper around the tire. This is how it's looking, it's all smooth, everything's sanded down. Now, this is just some Halfords primer, grey primer. Now Halfords, a lot of my viewers come from America, so to explain Halfords, it's like, I don't know what the equivalent would be in America, where you get all your spark plugs from, and your spray cans, and your locks, and all the car accessories. So I don't know what, I don't know, Best Buy or something? I don't know. Yeah, but that's what it is, it's just a, cheap grey primer and use it. So what you want to do just give that a good old yeet. Well I think that will do. For the first coat so we shall wait until the second one and then yeah we'll carry on it's very hard to tell because it is gray so i don't know if it will pick it up on the camera but it is it does look different so this is the second coat I think that that is all covered now and yeah and I think that is now ready for paint yeah beautiful we're getting there people so now it's time for some gloss black paint just the same Halford's cheap gloss black paint just the same one now with the first coat you want to give it a light coat Hands a bit weird. Firing it at random times. Yeah. Bit weird that one. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bloody wind. So weird. Yeah. Yeah, well I think I'll wait for that one. Yeah. We'll leave that for now for the first coat. This one's a bit weird to me. Huh? Yes. We shall wait. We shall see you in the next one. Now, this is the second coat. Capture all in there. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll leave that one now. Wait till that's dry. Then ready for the third coat. But looking at it so far, let's see. Most of it is done, but come here. Let's see on the insides of there. Are we still white? So I think I'll have to do like a separate coat just to cover most of the inside after this bit done. So yeah, we shall see. So this is time for the third coat. Let's get inside there. Oh yes, oh yes, yeah I think I'll wait a bit, yeah we'll wait, I think one more coat will do it, yeah and then everything will be covered, yes, this is going to be the last coat, oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, I think that's done now. And that is ready for clear coat now. Show them how it's looking, everyone. Show them how it's looking. Beautiful. Beautiful. Everything's covered. It's all nice. It's all done. See? It's doable just with Halford's gloss black paint. So you don't need to buy a fancy one. So now we're going to wait quite some time. And then it's time for clear coat, which I am using again. Halford's clear lacquer. Lacquer lacquer. Whatever. Good. Look at this little shithead in there. For fuck's sake. Flew straight in there. Fuck off. Yes, there he is. Yeah, little dickhead. Just fucked me up. You leave the fucking cum stain on it. Fuck's sake. Alright, now I don't. I hope that don't drip. Fuck's sake. But everything else, look at it. It's getting there. I just seen him last minute fly right in there. Little shithead. Alright, uh, we'll just wait till it dries. Oh. 
There we go. We're losing sunlight down there. Right, now it's time for clay cup. Just a light spread on the first coat. And that'll do. We'll wait till the next one. We've had a little mishap. See that there? Show them. A little newspaper. The newspaper flew straight in. Now it's taped down now, but oh well. Oh well. Bloody wind. Wait till wind goes. One second. Okie dokie. Yo. Yeah, man. That is pretty much done, people. <sighs> yeah. Now I think we'll wait till it dries and then, yeah, see how it looks. Pretty messed up there, man. Bit of newspaper. Show them, neighbor. Him. Show them. Right now. Fucking hell. Yeah. Got another fly. Just the right. So, oh, are you rolling? Yeah, so pretty much show them we were in. This is how glossy it's looking. It's not 100% dry. Actually, yeah, it's pretty dry. It's just, yeah, this is how it's looking though. All glossy, except for this bit here where the newspaper just fell in. There's a bit of newspaper still in there. But other than that, everything else is nice and shiny. Yeah, I think we'll just end it here because it's not, yeah. I don't want to take this off yet, so I think we'll just end the video here. Yeah, hope you enjoyed. And yeah, just be careful when you're uh, securing it. Well, actually it was secured on there, but I moved the tire, that's why it messed up. But other than that, it looks beautiful, right? So I think the next video will be how to plasti dip a wheel. Yes. Are you ready for that, Ibrahim? Very good. Very good. We'll see you people in the next one.